What's up, guys? I am Kolfa. It's not just a name, it's a number. No, it's an introduction. It's not a number. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Anyway, what this is, is I am going to now be making that Let's Play that I said I was going to make in the previous sort of introductory thingy that I did recently. And, um, yeah, this is going to be... Well, you'll see once I produce the seed. It's going to be Cold Foot Let's Play. And what I intend to do with this Let's Play is, one, I'm going to use a seed that I did find on YouTube, and I will put in the video where I found this seed in the description of this video, and maybe even further videos later if people want it. But I'm going to leave these guys normal, super flat, or default. I wonder when they're going to produce a third world type. And I do like structures because they're cool. That's done. That was the seed. Here's the name of the world. Let's create it. And this is going to be a survival. And I intend to completely go all the way to the end and defeat the Ender Dragon. But because I think a lot of things are kind of pedestrian, especially to start with. I really do like survival islands, and I really like playing them, and this is one of them. This seed is a survival island seed. It starts you off on a really tiny little island, this really tiny little island, and I've never gone into this seed before, but here it is. It almost looks familiar because I did do something similar to this offline quite some time ago. And as usual and as best with a survival island seed, it has just one tree. Now, I... I suppose I forgot to mention this earlier, but if you like the texture pack that I'm using, it is a high definition texture pack shot. I did get it, I believe. Well, I can't remember exactly where I got it, but I will tell you in the description if anyone asks about it. Until someone asks about it, I'm probably just going to ignore that and sort of um, leave it as is. But what do you know? I just destroyed the only tree on my island. I am now doomed to a life of death and unfortunate disease. I'm going to starve to death. I am dead now. I am dead to the world. So I'm going to make do with the best I have, and I still say that sun is awesome. It is so awesome. That is an awesome sun. I really like that sun, whoever made this pack. This texture pack is awesome. And there, I've just used one-fourth of the wood that I might ever get in this entire Let's Play, although, you know what, if this does not drop any saplings, which I suppose it is entirely possible it won't drop any saplings, but um, hopefully it will, rather than sort of stopping and re-recording from the beginning again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of do it a somewhat more honorable way and pick a direction and go there till I find some trees, bring some saplings back and grow them. Because it's not because I don't want to re-record if it goes bad. I, I just don't particularly care if it's like perfect. And really I think it, it, it would just be cooler if I just sort of, you know, did that instead of re-recording the whole thing. Look! I found some sugar cane! And a piece of long grass. No seed. Darn. And I found a couple pieces of sugar cane, which I'm going to take to my main island, because I think they grow faster if they're near you, rather than far away from you. And because this is a texture pack, I can't tell if that's cobble or clay. It might be one, it might be the other, but I can't be absolutely for sure. But I'm going to put these sugar cane right there. Let them grow. And yeah, this island doesn't have much, and it's surrounded by water. Is that... aw, oh, that's land over there. I'm not going to go over there. I'm going to ignore that for now. The last, the last survival island I had literally had, and I did explore it, for 1,000 blocks in every direction, nothing but water. And I actually did find the main land, the main continent, in each direction. 
and it was roughly 1,000 blocks. No matter which direction I went, it was about 1,000 blocks in whatever direction. And that was pretty cool, but I've explored that world pretty well, and I also tried that world. I tried that seed again after the recent sort of updates, and... Um, yeah, it, it doesn't work anymore. It it sort of it made an island, but there was no tree on it. And although I could have, and I did in fact try, going just sort of swimming to the land, like I said I might do if this didn't drop any, which I don't have to do, yay, because it dropped some saplings. But um, yeah, I thought that would be, cons especially considering I know that world, I figured that would be kind of lame, I suppose. Jeez, this drops off into the water really deep. Hmm. But yeah, this is um, a survival island seed. It is, um, you saw it on the video, and I'm going to be doing this. Okay, now that I've sort of explained what I'm doing, I'm going to have to... I'm going to save that for the possibility, uh, make some sticks, separate the sticks, make that, that's a wooden pickaxe, here's a wooden shovel, and I'll put the seeds away for now, keep this wood, because as of right now, wood is a very precious resource, and I can't go wasting it until these guys grow. And even then, I still probably shouldn't go wasting it as much. So, first things first, I'm going to start sort of terraforming my little island here. Make it a little bit more hospitable to me, and get a little bit of resources. Sand is quite plentiful in this little spot, but you know what? It sort of breaks up my island into two, which you know what? I'm going to break up my island into two. I'm going to have two islands instead of one sort of big crescent-shaped island. Or I could make this into like a dock or something. I wonder what's down here at the bottom of the water. Uh, is it anything? Nope, it's nothing. It looks cool. That's though. That's that's like a deep little um, uh, harbor, really. That's a cool. That's a cool little harbor. That's a cool little feature. I like that. This seed is pretty good, and I give major props to the guy that originally discovered it, which I imagine his name was John, or he knew, or he or she knew someone named John because that was the seed, John number, 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 which was kind of cool. Um, is that, that looks like sand, that's dirt, that's useful, having some dirt nearby that I can use. Having dirt nearby is useful. Because dirt does not obey gravity. Also because dirt is useful for making farms and stuff like that. Hmm, what do I want to do next? Uh, this might be boring. Depending on how long it lasts, I might try to speed this up. If I don't try to speed this up, then obviously I didn't think it lasted too long. Or I didn't quite figure out how to do the speed up thing yet. If I did, wonderful. But, just in case, I'm going to keep talking rather than going, like, dead to the world for a few seconds. Wow, that really went fast. Okay, now then, I'm going to try to dig down to find some stone. Obviously, I changed my mind as soon as my shovel went dead. But I do need stone, and I'm not going to go out into the water for the stone, because, well, once you're in the water, you're kind of really slow and somewhat helpless. That looks like stone! Come to think of it, that doesn't look like anything like what I saw. Is that a spider? Dude, I just heard a spider. Spiders can see me, and there are spiders, which means that there is a cave underneath this island. And there being a cave underneath this island means that there's a cave, which means that I can find stuff in said cave. Sounds like it's to the right of me. What? 
Well, I'm, I'm, was I hearing something above here, or was I... I'm hearing things. I'm hearing dangerous things. I'm hearing unfortunate things. Anyway, one of the other things I'm going to do is, like I said, I've played this game a bit, so I'm going to actually set the difficulty up. Up a notch. Set it on hard, which I've never tried before. Hopefully, it isn't so bad that I just sort of decide to set it back to regular. <laughs> because that would be sort of sad, I suppose. Hmm. Now what do I have in here? Sort of dig in here. Looking to see if I can find that cave. Can I find that cave? Is it a good idea to find that cave before I even have a sword? Have any of my trees grown yet? They have not. Oh. Okay, I guess I will continue trying for this cave. If I absolutely have to, I can sort of make the opening into the cave just a one by one block opening. And I do have my brightness set up to the highest level. I have it set on right, I suppose, because I don't have any coal. And I suppose I could make sticks out of these wooden planks. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Go back up to the surface. And on here, uh, I have some cobble, which is one of the things that I dug into the ground to find was some cobble so that I could make a furnace, so that I could put my furnace down next to my thing there. And burn it. Burn the wood. Oh no, I don't have anything else to burn. Uh, well, uh, this isn't going to get me very many um, candles, candles, lamps. I'm sure you know what I mean. I can't think of the word right off the top of my head, though candle sounds good. Torch! Torch, that's the word I was looking for. Torch! Now I have some torches. And put a torch there, put a torch there. And then let's put a torch down here so that nothing spawns literally on top of me or anything like that. Mm, I'm going to... Oh, that's iron! Iron is good. Especially this early in the game. Of course, as I said, I don't have any other resources. I don't even have enough sticks now to make a stone pickaxe, which means I don't have a stone pickaxe, which means I can't even harvest that iron. Are they over to my right now? Should I have continued going straight? Let's see. Dig straight forward a few parts. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if one of these is going to pop open into the cave. Still nothing. Is there anything above ground that I can kill? Any skeletons that I can use to go- oh my gosh! Tree grew! Tree grew! Get more wood! Get more wood! More wood allows for more survival! Punching trees! Getting wood! Hopefully getting saplings! Getting more saplings would be good too. And wood is so precious that I haven't even made an axe yet. Because this is survival island, and islands are harder to survive on. Hmm. Also because of the limited amount of trees. Which, once you have enough trees, is sort of a moot point. But also, I have no animals. No animals means I can't make kick. Unless I go find animals, which I suppose I did. And obviously that was land over there, as we all saw. So once I'm bored with the island, I can go find animals. It's almost disappointing that it didn't take very long to be able to find land. Wow, I only got one sapling from that whole tree. Oh, that's unfortunate. That means that I only have one sapling. Oh well. Uh, still, I got some wood. Let's see, what do I want to use this wood to make? I am going to make... Uh, wooden planks, some sticks, and with this stick I'm going to make a sword. And I'm going to keep the rest of the sticks close by for now. 
Did I hear some moaning? Was that seriously under my cave? That was. That was all down there. There has got to be some sort of cave down there. I can't find it. I have not find it yet. Whoa. <laughs> Fail. That was an epic fall. I don't know if you noticed, but I twitched. That was a good fall. I should have made a stone pickaxe. Oh well. Mm. Maybe they're this way. Maybe they're below me. That would not surprise me either. Eh. I want to find these spiders. They're making all sorts of noise, and that noise bugs me. Can't put a candle there. I might call these things candles from now on, because candle just sounds cooler. Um, I still don't have any coal, which is why I left those two as wood. E, uh, e. Use one wooden plank and a stick, because a wooden plank does one and a half burns, and then the stick does a half a burn, which should burn both of those logs fully once which I sure hope I'm not wrong and that burns out before it is converted to oh good I did not I did not completely mess myself up oh well that's too bad me not messing myself up that's not as much funny and here's some sticks and charcoal and torches yay I have more torches oh oh duh. oh that's a zombie I'm gonna go kill the zombie kill the zombie kill the zombie Come here, zombie. I want to kill you. Even though what you drop is not nearly as useful as what anything else drops. Uh, I should bring you over to some place where what you drop will drop and I can get to it rather than having to drown myself to get it. Stand here for a bit, waiting for him to get to me. You know what, I bet if I stood over here long enough, things would spawn over on my main island over here. Maybe even skeletons. And having skeletons spawn would allow for some bones and bone meal. Obviously, arrows would not be particularly helpful yet, unless he also drops a bow, which I have found. They do, in fact, drop bows now. and. It I say the zombie doesn't drop anything useful, but you know what? He does, because zombies now have a small chance of dropping iron tools, iron swords, and even iron armor. I know that because in my little mob grinder back there, they kept dropping iron swords, iron tools, and iron armor. I actually found some iron pants off of one, and I wore it around for a little bit, and then I got bored of that. That was... Because it was the only iron armor I had, all the rest of my armor was leather, so I just sort of put that in a chest and kept the rest of it. Hmm. Do I have enough wood? I do not have enough wood. Oh, well. Go back to um, cutting into the ground here. I am going to try cutting down. Uh, after I make a new pickaxe. Uh... Oh well. New pickaxe. Let's see. I have enough sticks. That's a good thing. And I have enough cobblestone. Duh. Already I have well more than enough cobblestone. I'm gonna make two picks even though this does sort of put me at a disadvantage for some things. But what does worry me is, obviously, this island has no food. No food. And having no food means that for all the energy I expend, I am... Arguably, I am putting myself closer to having food, but at this point, the survival aspect is I need food and I need wood. And that was an Enderman. Oh, hi, Enderman. I'm not going to, um... Is he really that stupid? Is he just gonna stand there getting hurt? Oh my gosh, I killed an Enderman! Half by accident! Because he was being incredibly stupid for an Enderman. I know that 
Jeez, normally Endermen, as soon as they touch water, even if it's just rain, they just teleport away. Which is supposedly in their AI, and that is a creeper. That's one of the good thing about islands, is that they're so small, there's so little real estate for monsters to spawn on, that you can pretty much predict when they're going to spawn. And creepers, you can drag them out here into the water, and it's actually easier to kill them out in the water, and if you don't manage to kill them, and they do explode, they don't do any damage, because water can't be blown up. Well, I suppose, technically it can, because the only thing that can't actually be blown up is, um, ooh, tree grew right in front of me, is, um, bedrock. Bedrock is the only thing that legitimately cannot be blown well, there's also the, um, the borders to the end portal that I can't remember what those blocks are called off the top of my head. Those, basically, they have the same properties as bedrock. They can't be blown up. They have a blast resistance of 18 million. Water has a blast resistance that is identical to obsidian, and obsidian is 6,000. As I'm sure you can tell that there's quite a bit of difference there. Um, and it actually takes... I've read on this... I believe in order to blow up one block of water or lava and make it actually be destroyed, you literally have to put TNT on all four or even all six sides of it and have all of those TNT blows up at the same time, rather than even just sort of setting each other off. They all have to be set off at the exact same time and blow up at the exact same time, which obviously is unlikely. Because you'd have to be pretty good, and you'd have to use redstone, which I'm not really very good with redstone. I can sort of, yeah, I can try, but mm, even in my own time, I've never really done much with redstone, and I've never really seen any need to. Those really look more like bushes than trees, but that's still cool. Let's see. So, I have logs now. One, two, three... Save two logs just in case. I have 15 wooden planks. What do I want to make with these 15 wooden planks? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Make some more sticks. I'm not going to use all of them to make my sticks, because that would be unfortunate. Let's see. I'm going to make a new shovel, because I broke my shovel earlier. I broke it rather quickly unfortunately. Put that pickaxe up there. I'm sort of rearranging my toolbar because I do every time. Um, let's see, I usually put pickaxe there, sword there, bow there. I haven't got one. I might put a hoe there. That's what I should make. I'll make a hoe. That way I can plant this seeds. Uh, no skeletons, no bones. No skeletons means no bones, no bones means no bone meal, no bone meal means I can't grow stuff fast. Oh, oh well. Oh well, I'll make the best. Um, in fact, I might like make that area over there into sort of a spawning pad, which would be cool. Did I? Yes, I did put my hoe up here. And having a spawning pad means basically just a big flat area for monsters to spawn on. So that you can, um, you know, spawn monsters, I guess. So that you can kill them and get the stuff they drop. That is clay. I'm going to get some clay, even though it's largely useless at this point. But I do want brick. Uh, up for air. Yeah, let's get some more clay. Get some more clay. Get some more clay. Now, one thing I would like to make in this LP is an underwater house. It's going to literally be a house underwater. And hmm, I now have something to store. Therefore, I have a reason. I have two apples. <laughs> It just occurred to me. I have two apples, therefore I have food. But apples only restore one food, so it's not a very good food. Uh, 
but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I now have a reason to make a chest, so I'm going to make a chest. And put my chest down right there because, well, I don't have a house. Why not? Uh, put the apple away. Put the apple of my eye. Some wood. Gonna keep that. Wood and planks. Gonna keep that. Put the clay in here. Uh, all the rest of this I can sort of need immediately. Well, not immediately, but as I'm going. Mm, you know what? I totally could. In fact, I think I will go back over here, which is really slow because this is water, and water is really slow. It's really slow to go through water. It's not quite annoying, but it's slow. Oh, well. Oh, look at that. You can tell that farmland has a different shading mechanism than regular dirt, even though it's shaped the same. It's slightly shorter, and it's a different kind of entity, so it makes different shadows. Which I'm sure very few people would ever care, let alone notice. But I am someone who would, because I pay attention to stuff like that, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to put a candle there, just to keep that well lit so it continues growing even at night. And also so monsters don't spawn there and, like, trample it. In fact, I should put one next to the sugar cane there. Yes, put one next to the sugar cane there. Mm, there. Come on, sugar cane, grow faster. I have no need for you yet, but grow faster anyway. Uh, oh, another tree grew. Yay! Growing trees. That one's a tall one. Uh, oh, well. Growing trees means more wood. More wood means, as I said before, more survivability. And I'm going to go get it. Get the tree. Get the wood. Get the wood from the tree with a candle. I like the candle. In fact, I like calling it a candle. I don't really like calling it a torch. Torch sort of sounds almost like I should be able to light things on fire with it. I want to be. In fact, I want to be able to light things on fire with it, but I guess that's what flint and steel are for. Which, come to think of it, I haven't. Unless this is. No, that's dirt. I haven't seen any gravel yet. Which means that I haven't seen any flint yet. I can't make flint and steel yet. Oh, I'll probably find it at some point while digging underground, but still. Oh, wait. <laughs> None dro dropped here in the water, did they? Oh, good. I better get I better get those saplings before they like I don't know disappear. Yeah, I've sort of heard off cuff that the saplings drop rate is decreased if you punch rather than like allow the leaves to despawn naturally. But um. I don't know. I don't really care as much. And put a tree there. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Jump. And... Nope. Darn. Oh well. Put a candle next to it so it grows faster. Supposedly. <laughs> well timed there, other tree. Mm. Yeah. Okay, grab other tree here, 